Filming. So this is my morning routine with the goats. So in the morning, I just give them a um, bucket full of weeds or veggie scraps or whatever I've got in the garden. At the moment, it's weeds. I've got too many weeds and they love it. And then they get a couple of tubs, yogurt scoops, yogurt tub scoops full of chaff. Um, they only get a few of them. Clover's weaning Blossom off, that's her daughter. So she doesn't need as much chaff anymore. Um, she wouldn't need it at all, actually, because they've got enough to eat here. But um, anyway, that's what I give them in the morning. You have a look over here. This is their little goat hotel. So at the front, we've got this cardboard. And the reason we've done that is because when it rains, everything gets sopping wet. I don't need to put that there, really. But it's a lot cheaper than putting hay here and then having it soiled from the wet, from the rain all the time. So. All I do in the morning is just sweep this literally because the little goat poo's hard. Um, sweep any goat poo off and then that's done. And if it's raining, I just swap out the cardboard and these pavers are just to stop it from blowing away. Okay, cleaning out their bedding area is so easy. So in the morning, I just come through and these gaps are where I've just sort of bulk picked up. If there was like a little bit of goat droppings or whatever, I just scooped up the hay around it and you can see the dirt underneath is perfectly clean. Um, this is the little tub that I put their soiled hay in, which goes onto the compost pile every day, um, which will make lovely compost combined with the veggie scraps or weeds that they don't eat. There's your carbon and nitrogen plus their poo. It's the perfect mix. If they have weed in Australia, it's really difficult to find cheap um, ammonia combating ingredients. So I've been creative and we've gone to Bunnings and we've bought um, Valvoline Ultrasorb. Now Valvoline Ultrasorb, unless someone can correct me, I have done all the research that I can, is just 100% zeolite. And zeolite is safe for the goats, but it also helps to combat the smell of ammonia. Goat's wee does smell, goat's poo does not smell. So these girls have actually been really clean last night. I think they're weeing and sleeping maybe out the front a bit more. But anyway, so that's done. Then all I have to do is literally just fill up the gaps with a bit of spare hay, fill up their water, and that's pretty much all we have to do. <laughs> and there's Roberta. <laughs> you can keep filming her because you'll probably head by each other. Over in here is the storage room, which is going to become the milking parlor one day when Clover gives birth again. So just a really quick talk. So this is the, um, I just keep one bale of hay in here, which I just take a biscuit at a time from as needed to, um, to fill up their, sorry, to replace the um, bedding that I take away. Um, but all the rest is stored in the hay barn or the snake hotel. We've got some goat muesli and some goat pellets, which they get a couple of scoops in the afternoon. Here I've literally just got dirt when it's raining and it's a mess in there because they stay in there for days. I just replace um, some of the soil dirt with some fresh dirt. It just helps to keep everything clean. Um, and then they've got all their accessories here. The broom, more food, and this is that Belvoline Ultrasorb for anyone living in Australia that can maybe tell me more about this because Again, I think this is a cheap, safe option to use. Um, and all I do now is just take one biscuit or flake and I bring it into here. Pop it onto their little food trough and then go ahead and fill in the gaps. And that is it. All I need to do now is fill up their water. This is also their mineral block, which is important for their health. And the chair is for me to sit on. Um, and the other tip I can say is I bought these gloves for $2, these rake gloves from Mita 10. And that is really handy for me to go around and quickly scoop up the soil hay. Um, so that's what that's for. This is um, what my husband made. It's an old bed head with um, wire in it. That's just an old pallet screwed in. 
So again, when it's raining, because the goats won't go out when it rains, um, we can just sort of shove branches and smaller branches and twigs in here. It actually looks really pretty. And um, when, sorry, I'm going on to another subject. When a goat's naughty, spray them with water. No, and <laughs> the water works like acid and they learn very quickly that no means they'll get water on them. I just wanted to show you that because goats are naughty little buggers. So always have a bottle of spray water with you. <laughs> anyway, that is it. That's how quick it is. My routine in the morning. Some mornings are awful, especially if the sheep have been in here and there's sheep crap everywhere. Or if it's been raining and it's trashed in here. Or if I don't lock the storage room and they get in there and they trash the joint as well. That's, that's another nightmare. So this can take me anywhere from 15 minutes to two hours, depending on if I'm doing a deep clean or if I'm just doing a quick clean out. And um, that's it.